I don't know if you can hear that, but it's my neighbor, Target practicing. I love that rooster. The longer I sit here, the bigger my hair is gonna get. <sighs> These wasps, I don't know if they're actually attracted to the citronella candles or the bug spray that we, you know, have around here. I, I, I don't know. I thought that by moving north, I'd see less bugs, but I'm telling you, the amount of bugs I have seen since moving up here, I don't like it. <laughs> Hey there and welcome back. Today I am underneath my gazebo in my little back patio area and I'm going to be sharing a small change that we did under the gazebo as well as a few things that we added to the space and the pool that we installed. Now you can see behind me our lawn is a little untamed. This is going to be a more real video <laughs> for you guys. That way you can see, you know, just kind of how things are back here right now um our lawnmower is kaput so we have to take it to the shop and that's why we have a little bit taller grass than we would like behind ourselves so excuse that and if it looks like i'm uncomfortable i am very hot and sweaty it's because i am and i just got bit by an ant so good times also i have one of the gazebo panels here blocking the sun from me and the wind's kind of blowing a little bit, so you might hear it in the background. This is just the state of things. Nelson's actually inside of the YouTube studio right now working on some measurements, and he's getting ready to make some cuts, so this is my only quiet space right now <laughs> to film this video. It's just life on the farm right now, so I hope you're okay with that. But before I start talking, make sure to stick to the end, because I'll be talking about what we're working on in the actual YouTube studio as of right now. So if you have seen the two previous videos of our patio makeover, you guys have seen that we added this covered large gazebo behind my YouTube studio. We added gravel, we added some lights underneath it, and um, it's been really nice having a covered area back here. Also, we added some seating in the form of a dining room table, and we have a little barbecue area back here as well, and we've been enjoying this space. The third thing we added was the pool right behind me, as you can see, and this was very important to us to have a temporary tight pool so that the kids can enjoy um, the outdoors while you know we're working on the YouTube studio and getting other things set up on the property. Now it gets pretty hot up here, even on top of the mountain plateau where we're at. And so it has come in handy having that pool back there. Our kids have enjoyed it. I found this one from Amazon and I'll link it in the description box below if you guys wanna check it out. We had sand put in the area around it, obviously, because you want something soft for it to go on. And it was really easy to put together. Nelson and I did this ourselves between the two of us. And we were surprised at how easy it was to just clip all the pieces together and then just fill it up. Now, one thing we did do was opt for a salt water system. We had that in our last pool as well. And Nelson just prefers that. He likes the way the salt water system works and the fact that our kids aren't bathing in chlorine and we don't smell like it. And when we get out of the pool, we actually have, you know, nice soft hair and soft skin and it doesn't irritate our skin. And it's just a lot safer for us to have. So that was one upgrade we did to the pool and we've really enjoyed doing that. So I'll link that as well if you guys are interested in checking it out. It's actually a really good water filtration system and he even likes the way it works a little bit more than the one that we had with the bigger pool at our last house.
So the one thing we did to change things up underneath the gazebo was to, to rearrange the furniture and add a seating area. Now it has been great as a dining space and we love sitting and talking at it and have had a couple of dinners out here. However, after partnering with Domi Outdoor Living with the gazebo, they wanted to send out a living space set for me to try out as a gift and just see how it works underneath the gazebo. And we actually love it. We received a love seat and coffee table along with two side chairs that they sent us. And it's so nice having a place where we can sit down as well as a family and have conversations. And because the gazebo is so large, we are able to have both spaces underneath here and have just two separate areas, which is pretty amazing. We received two boxes for this set and all of the items were fairly light and really easy to put together. So much so that I was able to do this without my husband's help. I had my daughter assist and hand me the little bolts and all that stuff. But other than that, these were very easy to put together and super light. I can move them around wherever and I really just love how they look. They have just this nice cozy feel about them and we've really enjoyed having them underneath the gazebo and as part of a living space. I'll make sure to include a link to this specific set in the description box below so you can check it out. Now, something else that we added to the outdoor area were our Adirondack chairs. If you recall our back patio makeover in our last house, we still had those chairs and we were certainly not going to leave them there. So we brought them over and we have them as seating, as you can see behind me, right by the pool, as well as over by Nelson's little barbecue area. We have a couple of fire pits out there and it's just nice to have all the seating for whenever we have people over once the YouTube studio is complete. I'm happy to say that my flowers and my pots are doing great. They are surviving out here. <laughs> they are surviving out here. It has gone a little bit hot a couple of times, but we keep them watered and they're doing absolutely beautifully. Also behind our YouTube studio, we went ahead and lined up several fruit trees that we had purchased and they're just kind of there right now because I don't know where to put them just yet. <laughs> and I don't think a couple of them survived like the very last frost that we had when we bought them. So we're trying to revive them again. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but we're, we have them there. They're protected. I'm watering them every day and I'm trying to figure out where best we could place them. I'm not even sure if I can plant them now. Let me know if you know a little bit more about gardening than I do. I'm not sure if I can put them in the ground now if it's too late or if I have to wait a little bit later on in the season. I'm not sure. But they're there. They're protected at least. They're not toppling over with the winds that we sometimes get. So it's kind of nice just to have them there and I get to water all my plants at once and then hopefully they'll have a home very soon. You may hear Nelson in the background. He's, I don't know what he's doing, but he's making noise. But um, that's pretty much everything that we did for the back area. Now there's still some landscaping that we have to do, obviously, and there's grass that needs to grow in some of the areas that were dug up. But as of right now, that is all we're doing. That can wait till next year. We just have to keep the grass cut when we get our lawnmower back after it gets repaired. But I just wanted to, you know, just share that 
this is as good as it's going to get right now for us because right now we have been focusing solely on the YouTube studio. And what have we been doing? Well, I know I've already said that all of the plumbing has gotten done, which is great. And Nelson has been pretty occupied um, putting in all of the electrical. He's pretty much has it complete. Right now he has the panel in, he has all of the outlets, he's got the lights, he's got connections on the outside. I think we went a little bit overboard, but we wanted to make sure that we did not seal the walls and then thought to ourselves, oh, we could have used another outlet here or we could have used this there. So we've got lights on both entrances, both the back and the front entrance to the YouTube studio, which is really nice. And right now what he's working on is bracing a couple of areas inside of the walls before we put the insulation in. So we have a front porch that's eventually going to go in with an awning or like a roof, like a covered front porch. And he wants to make sure there's enough bracing for when we add, you can hear him, when we add the roof to the front porch that there's places where, you know, we can anchor them and keep them secure. So he's doing that right now. And we also have a little project that we kind of had to add on. Now, this is something that, first of all, we do need. So right now, the YouTube studio is actually a little bit high because it's on blocks. And so it's really hard for us to get in and out. We have to add some kind of stairs, some kind of step up to get in it. And it's getting a little bit harder for me as the days go on for me to, you know, get in there. So we needed some kind of steps for the back and we thought about hiring it out. Unfortunately, nobody wants to come out here. Um, it's too far for most people. And you know, the project is just too small cause it's not worth it. So Nelson and I had to figure out how to do this on our own, <laughs> watch videos, see how to best to do this. And so we're attempting to do this. And that's one thing that we're going to be adding on ourselves. It's necessary for us to go ahead and get that done now because we need a way to get in and out of the YouTube studio where I'm not struggling to get in. We also need to bring in supplies. We need to bring in, you know, um, cabinetry and appliances and all that stuff. So, and honestly, it, it just needs it because we just can't leave it the way it is. So we decided to go ahead and complete the back door entrance, not the front door. Since we're going to have a fairly large covered front porch on the front of the YouTube studio, that's going to be a big project. That's going to be pretty time consuming. So that's going to be the last thing that we do for the YouTube studio. But we're going to go ahead and complete the back entrance. We're already back here behind the YouTube studio. So the easiest way for us to get in and out of the YouTube studio is just to go through the back door. So what we're doing is we're doing a small little landing, kind of like small little deck and a couple of steps down. But also on top of the door, we're gonna add like a small awning. When we get rain in this area, we get rain from like this direction. So it hits the back of the YouTube studio. I'm looking at it right now. And you can already see all of the rain and like dirt that has accumulated on that back door. So we want to be able to have like a small little awning over the door so that it kind of protects it a little bit from the elements and just make sure that, you know, the area around the door doesn't dry rot or doesn't start, you know, just falling apart because of all the rain pummeling it because somehow it always just comes directly to that back door. So we're going to go ahead and get that done. We've already got the supplies. We're already working on it. Hopefully I'll be able to share how that looks the before and after for that space. And I'm excited because we'll actually have steps to get in there and I don't have to struggle to go in and out of the YouTube studio while we're building it out. Things are starting to move a little bit more quickly now with the YouTube studio. Once the bracing is done for the little decks and the awnings and the front porch and stuff, then we can actually spray foam everything. Nelson just wanted to have all that stuff done ahead of time so that he didn't have to do it or struggle to find places to anchor the roofs and the decks and all that stuff after the foam was in. And then obviously after that, the walls are going to go up. So we're excited about it. And we can't wait to share more. But that's kind of what's going on right now. Just wanted to give you a little bit of a dose of reality of how things are kind of set up, you know, where we've stopped our projects right now and 
we'll pick up later on and we'll you know address those probably in next spring and summer but for right now this seems to work for us we're very happy with the space we've been enjoying it a lot the kids love being out here last night we were just hanging out after the kids were in the pool we were talking we were enjoying our new little sofa set and we've just been having a good time so i hope you enjoyed this real life update and how things are actually really functioning for us back here and i will see you all in a few days with another fun video so make sure you stick around i hope you're doing well and i will see you soon until then adios